kita pergi kepada politik pula Datuk Sri. Saya nak mula dengan uh, UMNO. Um, kami tiga ni ada uh, something in common. Uh, you and I were both sacked from UMNO. Uh, Syaril has been suspended. Jadi dia punya taraf dia tak sampai kita lah. Tak Tapi, sampai makam. Tak, 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 tak sampai <laughs> uh, our level. Um, Datuk Sri, uh, of course now you're president of Warisan but uh, do you miss UMNO? Not really. You know, I mean, uh, as an individual, sebagai seorang rakyat Malaysia, sebagai seorang umat, bila saya lihat bahawa apa yang penting bila saya memasuki gelanggang politik, niat saya bukan berlandaskan ikatan jiwa dan pemikiran, amalan kepada vehicle yang ada. Tapi konten perjuangan itu, amalan dia, kandungan dia. Seumpama insan manusia, Kalaupun bapa saya jadi imam, kalau rukunnya tak sempurna, bacaannya, tauhidnya, saya tegur. Subhanallah. Sebab tiga kali. Kalau dia tak perbetulkan solat dia, itu wajib solat ini. Maka saya terpaksa keluar daripada saf itu. Untuk saya tunaikan amal saya kepada Allah SWT. Pasal saya berjanji kepada Tuhan, inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyai mati lillahi rabbil alamin. Maka kalau lihat dari segi itu, pandangan jiwa saya, saya masuk gelanggang politik. Saya letak jawatan. Saya bayar gaji saya super scale. S11. Buat 9,000 a month. Those days a lot. Oh, it's a lot then. You know, and then after that. Tapi saya melihat that sebagai seorang anak muda, how far can I contribute to the society? In Sabah in particular, and also to the people, particularly the poor. When I go to the ground, saya melihat dengan mata saya, saya mendengar dengan rintihan masalah mereka. And that molded jiwa saya sebagai seorang insan untuk melihat ke mana kita. Takkan hidup saya sebagai seorang insan dijadikan oleh Allah SWT untuk nakkan sebagai penonton. Sebagai seorang melihat keadaan yang ada di ya. negara ini. Maka itu yang saya masuk dalam gambar waktu ya. itu dah asno dimansuhkan dan landasan yang ada saya masuk dalam UMNO. I remember Tok Sri sebab saya bersama dengan Tok Sri dalam kabinet pada masa itu and my view of you was that you were one of the strong supporters of Datuk Sri Najib. You came through politics with him. Datuk Sri Timbalan Menteri Pertahanan waktu Datuk Sri Najib Menteri Pertahanan. You supported him zaman mm-hmm. pemuda UMNO yeah. dan lain-lain. How painful was it for you masa itu? to have to go against him. I remember in cabinet, you, <laughs> Tan Zimahidin, myself, you others, kita bangkitkan kenaan dengan 1MDB dan sebagainya. You were quite forceful. But but that must have been a dilemma for you. Sebab kawan. Macam Datuk Sri kata, brother, hmm. you went against him. Yeah. Sebenarnya dari segi perjalanan politik itu bukan semudah itu. Ya, yeah? Itu yang bila kita lahirkan UMNO, membesar, I went together with him sebagai seorang anak muda, pengasas AMNO di antara pengasas AMNO membesarkan AMNO di bumi Sabah Sabah. saya dengan my uncle dan the rest of the group je dan Najib was there together with me sebagai seorang rakan makan sama you know all the time it's not easy tapi bila saya melihat uh, berbagai insiden yang ada berlaku tapi kemuncaannya bila bertumbung perjalanan perbelanjaan you know it's not easy saya sebagai seorang menteri kampung waktu itu mengurus mentadbir tangki biru pun lepas itu taken by ICU <laughs> sepatutnya saya yang melaksanakan lepas itu ada perjalanan pembinaan jalan-jalan yang ada di luar bandar di Sarawak then it was given to defence side I said why do you do that said, that sort of things happen but that is one the main reason tapi bila berlaku tentang 1MDB maka di situ saya banyak menegur dan saya banyak bersuara dan saya bagi pandangan, saya bagi nasihat sebagai seorang insan, sebagai seorang jamaah menteri. Saya tak keluar membicarakan perkara ini secara terbuka tentang 1MDB, though I know a lot. Because I was so fortunate but particular moment being a senior minister, I was able to communicate with a few outfit government of it, we eat, be it sama ada SPRM, sama ada Auditor General Dan, Namri Buang, Babu Kasim, all those sort of things. Because I don't make the wrong decision. I have to be very thorough. Saya sebagai seorang kena 
tertib menjalankan supaya bila maklumat itu tepat bila maklumat itu so I have to make my stand tapi dalam pada itu saya juga nasihatkan sebagai seorang rakan pasal kiamat ilmu besar lonjakan daripada pemuda naik presiden hmm. naik presiden bertanding lepas itu hampir jet kalah Mayudin Mat Taib waktu itu Mike Tyson lepas itu I told him I said brother be patient you'll be the on top then naik-naik lepas itu bila berlaku then uh, keadaan dia tapi saya lihat ya dan saya sebagai, sebagai seorang menteri first to become the cabinet bukan zaman Najib zaman Pak Lah also grateful to Pak Lah then I told him I said I do my part on how best we can tapi bila saya tengok perjalanan beberapa keadaan itu yang bila berlaku dengan uh, 1MDB tapi saya tak boleh bincang lah saja nanti konten of court because I was so uh, siasat tengok tanya macam mana so saya beritahu no went to his house he called me and said brother can you come to the house I said then banyaklah cerita ni inside story yang ada I said, I said brother I'm so sorry you know I, I can't I said because I'm here to serve the people I'm here to serve the country I said whatever it takes and then uh, I don't know whether you remember I make a lot of noise you know when there was 3 million 3 billion money was there you were there as well yeah. you also questioned that three of us my union and myself and I was so adamant when I said well you know it's not easy even I come from that sort of outfit Menteri Kampung tak banyak duit kita nak belanja ni yeah. and you are asking now I said what's it for there's not even a memorandum No. I said I was very blunt and very sincere. I said no. This was to cover the mm. interest. Uh, interest. So because we know that there was a call for otherwise we'll be listed yes. degraded from triple A some sort of things. But saya paham keadaan yang berlaku. Mm. Maka itu yang saya rasa. But I treat him like my brother until now. Even the children when they call me they bum on me Yana and the rest I said uncle how are you? I said I'm okay. Regard to your dad. Asyiknya, you know, asyik selaku manusia, walaupun ada perbezaan politik pahamannya, tapi saya tidak terikat dengan nak memisahkan dari segi hubungan. But there must be a red line. Macam saya katakan, lagi okay, saya tumbangkan adik saya, hmm. Datuk Yusuf dia amno, saya warisan. I could have just make arrangement with my brother. I said tak apa you tanding. Nanti calon ni diam-diam saja. Lepas tu you lompat, you menang. <laughs> But I know God is looking at me. Yeah. People might not be able to manage, even realize. Tapi apa dalam hati jiwa saya? I know it's painful for my brothers. I know it's painful for my uncle. Because my uncle, dia punya son in law, my brother tu. Hmm. Tun Sekaran, dia punya son in law. Anak-anak Tun Sekaran. My sisters, my sibling was there. Shouting and all. They said, what's wrong with you? I said, no, I love my family. I love my blood. But masuk bila galanggang politik, it's not about my family. It's about the nation, it's about the people's interest. Of course, it's important. Ini yang kita kena lihat, kepentingan umat. Ya, Kalau kita tak melihat dari segi kepentingan keseluruhan, ke mana kita nak bawa negara ini? Ke mana kita nak bawa ke umat? Kita tak nampak. KJ, I, ini balik ni, IP Keningau. Saya nampak kena garang rintihan. They were students. Bila saya dalam keadaan berat, Anak Bugis di ladang tu. Dia datang jumpa bila saya tengok mak bapa dia. Ia sebugis, bukan baca. Dapat acceptance letter from Sheffield University buat accountancy. Datu Sri saya nak belajar. Tak ada bisnis, buat tak ada kupayan. Saya jual di mana ni? Saya buka buka saya nak. Very good acceptance accountancy. Saya so, sebagai tahu dengan dia, don't worry aja. Saya tengok bapa dia baju pun tak kesemana. I said, don't worry. So I paid dia punya scholarship. Dia buat 60,000 dia punya. Dia punya untuk masuk. No? And then after that, bawa pergi KL, beli baju, beli kasut. Nak pergi London kan sejuk. So I said, I him, I said, you go there. He graduated. The moment he graduated as accountant, he came back. He approached me. He said, Dato' Sri, will he tak saya kerja? Dia said, forget about me. Serve your family, serve the people. Now I think he's serving as an accountant in one of the company. And that is more meaningful to me. As a politician, as an individual, when you are able to give helping hand, bantuan kepada masyarakat kita, seumpama itu kita dalam UMNO, pasal itu persoalan UMNO, daripada atas sampai ke bawah, it's so divided. But what is equally important, we look into it, the content, where do we go? It's not because bangsa Melayu, it's not because bangsa Islam, tapi ke mana nak dibawa negara ini? 
oleh pimpinan-pimpinan waktu itu. Pasal itu, bila kita bincang a few of us, Tun Mahathir, Tun Hanib Omar, Jaman Khan, uh, Abu Talib, uh, siapa lagi, Tun Kurazali, we had some meeting, Malay leaders in this country. Thought of how we can make sure that ke mana anak negara ini dibawa. So we decided, go. Dan itu yang kita tupalkan UMNO itu. Hmm. Lepas tu pula Tun Mahathir bincang di titik gajah tiga orang saya dengan Mahyudin dengan Tun Mahathir uh, Mahyudin you become president bersatu Syafi you become timbalan presiden immediately responded spontaneously I said Tun I'm sorry I have enough of that I want to go back to my hometown Sabah I form parti warisan Sabah yang ada Because you you might not remember the Datuk Sri uh, tapi kali pertama saya betul-betul duduk dengan Datuk Sri was after the incident with 1MDB saya pergi ke rumah Datuk Sri di Semporna I was ex-co-commoder then uh, and, and a couple of us went to see you 